today we are checking out a food truck festival in Greater Seattle. There are lots of food options, like the creamy rice bowl with pan-seared scallops, wood-fired steak pizza, the smash burger, Central Asian hand pies, boba, bubble tea, and other treats, like tacos with cheese crisped on the outside. Ready or not, hit that like button and let's get this food adventure started. Thanks to Headspace for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Welcome to the 9th Annual Food Truck Festival of Everett. Everett is part of Greater Seattle. About 20 food trucks are participating this year. It's free admission, family friendly, and pets are welcome. Much is happening in this area today. Next to the Food Fest is the Maker's Market, featuring local artisans and small business makers. On another side is a beer fest, showcasing over 20 craft breweries and cideries with live music all day. And there's a skateboard competition nearby. As for us, we're focusing on food. It is Saturday, mid-August. The Food Truck Fest is open today from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hello, Hello darlings. darlings! The Food Fest has just begun and we already have the first item pan-seared scallops on rice pilaf with your choice of sauce. The vendor recommended the marsala mushroom sauce, so that's the one we went with. If they run out of marsala mushroom, there's also the red curry or basil pesto. The bowl comes with the ring of nine scallops. The toasty edges look delectable. They're cooked on a fisherman-owned food truck. Yup, they catch their own scallops from the icy waters of Alaska, frozen within four hours of capture to lock in the natural flavor and texture. Wow, perfectly cooked scallop. Oh, butter. butter. It's so creamy, <laughs> so smooth. The scallop tastes very clean. The sauce isn't on the scallop, so you could really feel that fresh scallop. The sauce is on the rice. It's also very savory, salty, but the saltiness is not like too much. Next up, let's bite into Central Asian street food. This food truck is called Tabasum, which means smile. They specialize in samsa, hand pies, also referred as savory pastries. Under their logo states their food is halal. There are vegan and vegetarian options. They have the plo, which is the rice bowls, but since we already had a rice bowl, we're gonna change it up, have some variety, and just get the samsa. It came out so fast. Within one minute we ordered, it was ready. One of these is beef. One of them has butternut squash. Mamiya wanted the butternut squash samsa, and then I asked which one of the samsa is the most traditional, and the vendor was telling us the beef samsa. So we got one of those as well. We don't know which one's what. They all look kind of same on the outside. Ah, uh, now this one has only black sesame seeds, and this one has white and black sesame seeds. So maybe that's an indication of what is what samsa. Oh, that one's butternut squash. The filling on the inside, it feels like a mashed potato. Okay, flavor-wise, it's pretty mild. Okay. All right, let's move on to the meat samsa. Ooh, so heavy. <laughs> Wow, this is, oh shit. it falls oh apart God. so oh, easily. Gosh. They're both the same price, but I feel like the beef samsa is more filling and it's heavier as well. There's onion in there and when you bite into it, sometimes the juice will flow down. I just had to look off the juice off my hands because it was like pretty moist, pretty juicy. Mamio prefers the butternut squash, so that you'll finish and I'll finish the beef. It's been 45 minutes since the food fest opened and there are long lines. So I do recommend come here as early as you can, especially if you're hungry. And you want to come here hungry because there's going to be a lot to eat. The long lines remind me of amusement parks, as if we're about to ride a roller coaster. Speaking of roller coaster, sometimes life feels like one with its ups and downs, which brings us to Headspace. Headspace is an app I've been using to support my mental well-being. Now everyone's mental well-being journey is different and unique. It can mean needing guidance to navigate through major life events, to needing support in everyday life. Their app has over a thousand pieces of content. They have guided meditations, breathing exercises, podcasts, workout videos, yoga videos, habit building courses, mindful walks, and more. I especially enjoy their sleep content. 
their sleep casts are stories told in soothing voices. You can fall asleep to their soundscape tracks, which play up to 500 minutes. My favorite is Cabin Downpour, great for the rain lovers. So whatever mood you're in or goal you have in mind, there's something for everyone, from kids to teens to adults. Every day you're given a fresh set of content for the morning, afternoon, and night. Headspace is a helpful resource for a wide range of life's events in times of stress, anxiety, and overwhelm, but also during moments of contentment and cultivating gratitude. For those interested in Headspace, you can enjoy a trial today by using my code MissMina60D with the link in the description box. All right, let's see what else is happening at the Food Truck Fest. Around the midpoint is the Maker's Market. There are booths selling flowers, soap, and all kinds of handcrafted goods. Barkery Unleashed sells baked treats for dogs. Some look like tacos and pizza. Got a mini donut for my sweetheart's son. Also got a quilted card made of fabric scraps. Love it when people get creative with leftover materials. Back to the food trucks. The lines are getting longer as the day progresses. We join the queue for Ryan's recipes. Over 20 people are ahead of us. We waited 30 minutes to put in our order. Then we're told it'd be another 45 to 60 minutes for the food to be made. Ah, longer wait times for this truck due to short staffing today. When the food is ready, the pager will buzz. In the meantime, let's get in line for bubble tea. Waited 20 minutes in line to put the order, then 10 minutes to get the drink. Got the chaga matcha latte with boba. Medium is the smallest size offered. Fantastic! The food at Ryan's recipes ended up taking 30 minutes to be made. That's 15 to 30 minutes less than estimated. Meet the juicy smash burger. A third pound Angus beef is smashed and grilled. Cheddar Jack cheese is crusted. American cheese is melted. Sweet pickles with a spicy touch on a pool of their special burger sauce. All hugged together by a toasted brioche bun. Sweetest burger I ever had. So it's like a dessert burger? I think because of dressing. The cheese is unique. It looks like it's frozen in place. It's been about 10 minutes since we got this burger, but it's still delicious. Patty is tender and the bread is very well toasted. I just bit into a whole pepper as well. It's crispy, crunchy cheese. Mm -hmm. And when you bite into it, the juices will fall. My favorite bites though are the ones where you like get the edge of the cheese, the crispy cheese. Introducing the cheesy pulled pork taco. The taco contains smoked pulled pork with a generous amount of barbecue sauce. All right, this one looks cheesy, like the cheese in the burger. Now that's because it has a blend of cheese on the outside of the tortilla. Not only is there cheese on the outside, there is also pepper jack cheese inside, as well as jalapeno and cilantro. The sweetest taco I ever had. Sweeter than the burger and uh, spicy and smoky, cheesy. I love the outside. It's so cheesy. The tortilla, the cheesy tortilla, that, that is so winning here. And the tenderness of the meat. Cheesier than K-drama. <laughs> but this is not like a stretchy cheesiness. Mm. It's like a firm cheesiness. Crunchy. Because exterior, the tortilla is so good. I could just have like, you know, small cheesy tortillas, like a set of six of them. I could just eat those straight up. Just cheese and tortilla like that. Like a cheese quesadilla but inverted. Onto the dreamy drink, the chaga matcha latte with boba, made with wild foraged chaga mushrooms, vanilla, cinnamon, raw cacao, and monk fruit. It looks like the unicorn's sweating. Oh, I like that chair. Why don't we go sit there and film? Oh, I love the little details on the tiling here. We are but stardust. I never tried this kind of boba. It's so complex. <laughs> it might be a different experience for you if you mix it up. But now I'm tasting the bitterness of the matcha. Now you get the matcha, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to taste more of the individual ingredients, then you could drink it layer by layer, like lift up the straw, drink the brown layer and the matcha layer, the green layer, 
Or you could just mix it all up and then have a collective layer flavor. I like the first sip. So mysterious. Mysterious? <laughs> so mysterious. <laughs> Uh, we're also gonna get a hot dog, but we're just gonna have one more item. It's gonna be the pizza. Specifically, wood-fired pizza by Smoke and Dough. Waited 30 minutes in line to order, then another 15 minutes to make. Three minute walk to the car. Originally, I was thinking we could get the pig out pizza or the margarita. It turns out today they don't have margarita, but they do have the pig out pizza and a special. We got the special. Blue cheese steak pizza with caramelized onions and figs. Your choice of putting a balsamic, it has actual fig in it. Cheers, Chan! Mmm. Definitely feel the blue cheese. Mm hmm. Oh, I love blue cheese here. This is my type of pizza. The onion is increasing the sweet flavor. This is a close number one yeah, to the scallop yeah, yeah. pilaf mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. That and this yeah. are tied, like they're both mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. This is sweeter though. The pan sear scallop dish was not sweet. That was creamy. Mmm, the dough is good too. Yeah. As much as I love like a simple pizza, like a margarita pizza, it is so fun to try pizzas with like different toppings and fig is not a usual topping. Some bites, you really feel the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Other bites, you don't really feel it as much. You know, just like usually with pizza, depending on which bite, which topping you get, you get more of that flavor. Blue cheese is one of those things not everyone likes. It's a bit of an acquired taste. I also didn't like blue cheese when I was younger. I think it tastes good with the mm -hmm. onion and fig. And the crust is like gigantic cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're gonna head home now. Today was a successful food adventure. As for our rankings, ba boom, I'm gonna put it right here. Actually, the pizza and scallop bowl are tied for me. For daily eats, I gravitate more towards the pan seared scallop over rice pilaf. For the weekends, I go with the wood fired blue cheese steak pizza. For daily eats, beef samsa. For the weekends, smash burger. On the weekends, I tend to choose more flavor. Like I say, preferences and cravings can really depend on the mood, occasion, environment, along with other factors. As for the chaga matcha latte with boba, I love bubble tea all day, every day. There are boba shops that let you adjust sugar levels. So if I get bubble tea on a weekday, I order it with less sugar. If it's the weekend, give me the normal or maybe a little bit higher. Great news! These food trucks are not only open for this event. You know, each food truck has their own schedule and route or spot. So you could check online for their individualized updates. Some do catering as well. The food truck festival does make it way easier to try a bunch of stuff in one day on one street. So that way you don't have to keep driving from one food truck to the next. This event was way busier than I expected. If you want to try multiple items, please come early so you could beat the lines. The longest we stood in line to just order food was 30 minutes. Kind of felt like we were at an amusement park. But instead of taking your whole body on a ride, it's all about the party in the mouth. As for parking, it was way easier than expected. Funny how that works. Event is busier than expected, but the parking is easier than expected. I guess there's a lot of parking spaces that I don't, I don't know about. Anyways, we parked at the Ever Park Garage, which is free on Saturdays and Sundays all day. Weekdays you do have to pay, but free after 6 p.m. You know, all that info is on uh, the Parking Garage website. There are many empty spaces at this garage at the time we filmed this video. Things change over time. Even when we're leaving around 3 p.m., a lot of empty spaces, such easy parking. And from the Ever Park Garage, it's about a three minute walk to the food fest and the beer fest. All right, I think I covered all the basics. Hope you enjoyed this video and getting to know more about the food scene of Greater Seattle. And even if there's no special event going on in that area, downtown Everett can be very fun to go to, depending on your interests. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles.
arrived 30 minutes before the Everett Food Truck Festival opened and grabbed the drinks from Narrative Coffee. Gotta have that alarm clock in liquid form. By the way, I painted a landscape of the foods we ate. I guess you could call it a foodscape? Here's Pizza Island, Burger Island with piled samsa, Rice Pilaf Island with scallop, sailing on a boat of bubble tea. Now that's what I call a food adventure. Be sure to check out my arts and crafts Instagram, at Creative Chillout. In my free time, I like to paint and make stuff with my hands. When we're filming, our goal is to show you as many awesome foods possible. So Mamio brought some containers from home. As delicious as this is, we gotta save some room for other foods because there's a lot here. Yeah. And if we eat everything completely, I think we could only eat like two or three items. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take some home for dinner tonight. Yeah, perfect size! Mamio brought a variety of containers. I'm gonna take the smash burger to another smashing level. Literally smash it. Eat. Now that's what you call a smash burger. <laughs> as for the chocolate, as for the chocolate, it. Whoa, why is it zoomed in my face? Thanks again to Headspace for sponsoring this video. Sign up for a free Headspace trial today by using my code MissMina60D and the link in the description box. And now, dance party!